Hey guys, Pushy Brothers here, and today, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be playing anything. Um, today uh, is another tutorial video because I like to help people out. Um, but um, basically, um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory. Um, so if you haven't heard, uh, fucking mobile VR station died. Uh, basically, you can't mod anymore on mobile VR station, unfortunately, but in this video, there are three apps that you can uh, install to get modding. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to show you that now. So basically, um, what you're going to do is you're going to want to go onto the browser. And you're going to want to search up one. I have it installed already. So these are the three apps you're gonna want to install. You're gonna want to install Activity Launcher, Shizuku, and uh, Zarkiver. Um, so I'm gonna teach you the best way. So I'm just gonna type in. Uh, wait. Activity Launcher, and all these things will show up. But I recommend doing APK Pure.net. It's like the best version to install all three of these apps, actually. That's where I installed all three. It's just going to take you to here. Uh, you're going to click download APK. I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. And then it's going to take you about down here. And it's going to show another download APK. Do that. It's going to show up on here. And same thing. Just search up Shizuku. Find the APK peer.net. And same for our Zarchiver. So basically, uh, what you want to do now is you want to open up Activity Launcher. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right there. And you're going to want to go into Settings. You're going to want to try and find Settings. Settings. Dot Settings. Launch Activity. And then you're going to want to go to About Headset. Click build number three times, about three something times, until you say you're now a developer. Go to system, developer options, scroll down, enable USB debugging, that's not enabled already, and then wireless debugging. Ah, that's my network. Wireless, and then you're going to want to go back to here. Go to Shizuku, um, and you have to pair it. So, you gotta go to pairing. I think. Hold on, guys, just give me one second. Oh, yeah, you turn on wireless debugging. It won't show up because I already have mine paired. Um, it's basically. Uh, obviously, make sure wireless debugging is on. And then open this, click pairing, and it's going to show this. And then a uh, pairing code is going to show up on here, or either, either one of these. It's, one of these things are, is going to show up a pairing code. And then on the other, you're going to type the parent, uh, pairing code. And then once you do that, you click start. Oh, wait, maybe. I don't know. Holy shit. Sorry, can I pop that off to the side? What to do to do? What to do? Have me one second, guys. I don't know how this works because I think. I think because I did it already, it won't pair. And it won't start either because it's already running. So yeah, pairing code on either one of these. And then you click start. It's going to show up a screen. And if this shows up, uh, click off this. Like that, and then turn it back on. And it's going to show this. It's going to wait for service.
I could, I'm just gonna actually, I'm gonna have to start that now. So yeah, it's gonna say service started, and then it's gonna run. So that's the first step down. Uh, now uh, you can open Zarchiver, and it's gonna show up permissions to use your files. So click that. And then you're gonna wanna go to device storage. And now this is where you can uh, go on to mod.io. And you can, <clears throat> excuse me. And then you can find any mod that you want. Uh, like here, my recent is Bone Lab because I've been modding Bone Lab for a bit. Uh, click any mod that you want. I uh, I think you do have to have an account, but it's free to sign up. Or if you have one, then good. Because uh, I don't know if you have to have an account to install the mods. But I had to create an account because I didn't see the mods. And when I did, this showed up, which is good. So do not do... If, one, if it has a Windows one, which probably almost every mod has, do not do that one. You have to do the Android one. And you can do the most recent one if you want to. Uh, I already have this one installed, so I'm not going to install it again. So yeah, uh, and then it'll show up. And then you can go to download. And it'll show up here. So like here, these are the things. Um, it's obviously going to be a zip. You just click on it. And then click extract here. It's going to turn into like a file once it's done. And then you're going to want to press and hold that until this shows up copy go to device storage android data and then scroll down to whatever game your bone lab files mods and then there's going to be this little clipboard instead of the plus it's going to be a clipboard if you did copy it and then it's going to paste it here so that's basically how you install the mods so actually i'm going to go into bone lab real quick and show you the mod all right, so we are inside Bone Lab, and I'm gonna go into this. I'm just gonna go into a random world, like Halfway Park. Halfway Park's my favorite map on Bone Lab, besides the maps that I've obviously installed from the mods. And again, this is to show off the mod to make sure that you did it right. NPC. And right there, Gillable Ford. This is from the mod that I installed. Uh, we're going to test it out. I'm just going to grab you. And just. Wait, I got to grab a stronger character real quick. I'm about to RKO you. Oh, that's too bad. This mod is fun, though. This mod is really fun because you can literally just pick them up, and just body slam them into the ground. We just, we just, me sit. Got it. Slam them hard enough. There we go. Damn, that's loud. Anyways, um, you. Wait, can I pick this up? Ew! I don't know you can pick those up. Ew. So yeah, I basically just tore his whole upper half off. Anyways, that is how you install mods with the new update. Because uh, Mobile VR Station has officially died out, unfortunately. But luckily, someone... Uh, but luckily, there's already a method, so... Uh, anyways, yeah, I guess that's the video. Okay, bye.